Hunting Lodge, how does it work? All right, so first of all, you're going to go to building over here. You're going to go to, uh, I believe, hunting. And then you're going to have hunting lodge over here, right? Once you build a hunting lodge, you're going to go over here. And you're going to see over here, you're going to be able to assign people. When you click, let's say, the slot over here, you're going to have like uh, green numbers over here. That means that this is for the hunting section, meaning that you want to pick someone who has uh, the highest number, uh, you know, for uh, hunting so that you can be more efficient, right? So over here, I could put this guy over here, uh, Oleg. Let me double check. Who do I have number two? Okay, I'm going to put Oleg actually. There we go. So now I have Oleg. And what happened is that when you put people, you're going to have a uh, percentage of efficiency. As you can see here, I have hunting skill six, right? But if I remove someone, so let's say if I if I remove someone, remove by X, boom. So basically now, if you go back over here, you see I have a hunting skill of three. You're going to say, what's the difference? Well, if you look at the right over here, if you look at the number, it says that the total amount of whatever you're doing, so here is meat. So the total amount of meat I'll be doing per day would be 9.45 because I'm putting 90% intensity if I put like let's say 100% so let's put 100% over here for someone with a hunting skill of three I will get 10 uh, meat per day right but if I put somebody else over here let's say I add the other person that I had before I put Griselda with a hunting skill of three as you can see now I have a total uh, hunting skill of six so instead of 10 I got double you understand so what happened is that when these guys level up because they level up as they are hunting right so they're gonna be producing more of the uh, whatever you're doing you can also split the workload technically you can go down to 50% and then put 50% dry meat or like 5% uh, three, uh, like 5% of dry meat 5% leather but here I'm gonna explain to you something the numbers over here it says 0 0.6 so in order to have one dry meat per day uh, basically per day he's gonna be doing 0 0.6 uh, dry meat per day technically what it what means almost like half of one dry meat so if you want to have one total dry meat you will have to wait uh, uh, two days because 0 0.6 times 2 will allow you to make one dry meat you understand so that's the reason why if you want to have one dry meat per day you need to reduce something so I don't know I'm gonna reduce this uh, let me see no Okay, so we see 1.7. So if I go to 1.7, it means that every day, uh, you know, my NPC will be making one dry meat per day. And they're going to be doing 18.91 uh, meat. Uh, they're going to, sorry, they're going to be hunting for meat for 18 of them per day. 18.91 uh, more specifically. Same thing with letter. So if you want more letter, then you're going to reduce this and you're going to put, you know, you're going to hire, you're going to put it higher, right? So that's one thing you need to understand about the numbers. This is the amount of items you will be producing or hunting or scavenging, you know, per day. So it's very important that you understand. So the higher the hunting skill, the more of that item you will be producing or hunting or scavenging or mining or whatever. And also, like I said, you want to put somebody with the highest skill level. So when you click over here, you see the green uh, uh, section. This is what the, their proficiency is in that uh, profession. So you want to put the one with the highest skill. And I already have two of them that are level three, which is pretty good. So you're going to click escape. You're going to go over here. You're going to click to uh, both of them. So she is a hunter, so Griselda. So you click over here, she's level three and this is her progression and i'll be honest with you it takes a lot of time before they level up one level so it's very long like it can take years it can take one year two years so it depends the higher their level the more happy they are the more efficient they are as well now some of you will say okay um like do i have to give them a bow so as you can see there's a bow over here no you don't have to give them a bow what happened this is like um this is like an internal systematic um what i'm gonna call it crafting hunting whatever you call it there will be an animation like at some point you're gonna see them like going outside and then you're gonna go you're gonna see them hunting right um but that's an animation uh is it in real time sometime yes sometime no because i did follow them in the past and sometimes they would just shoot one arrow at one animal and the you know like they just shoot one arrow and then they come back and then sometimes you're gonna see them walking around you're gonna see them cleaning the place but it doesn't matter this is part of the game mechanic it's, it's like an animation what matters is over here this over here so you see the the progress this is what you need to understand so every day you need to see how much meat do you want how much dry meat do you want how much leather do you want either you don't need to give them a, a, a bow or an arrow all you need to give them is a knife if you look over here but at the bottom so if you're looking for meat you need to have a knife and to put a knife i'll show you how it works you can put the knife over here like right about here you can put it in this chest over here you have 100 kilogram but what i recommend you to do if you have uh, enough mats is to make a 
uh, resource storage. So over here, I have a resource storage, as you can see, right over here, right? So if you have enough mats in the future, if you unlock it, I highly recommend you do this because in this chest, you have 1,000 kilograms of, you know, items you can put in here. So all my uh, knives, my tools, my hammer, my, uh, you know, my everything, I put it over here except food. You know, food, you don't want to put it over here. This is more for, this is more for like resources like stone axe, stone hoe, like stone stick, you know, wood, straw, wine bottle. So here's a stone. I have 11 stone knives, so they're fine. So you have to understand if you don't have any stone knife either in this, in a resource storage, if you don't have any knife in here or in, in the uh, uh, hunting lodge, they will not do anything. Like if they're, if you're asking them, look, I'm going to show you something. So if you look over here, if you go for meat, so if you're looking for meat, if you want them to get meat, right, from hunting, you need to have a knife. If you have no knife, it's there, you're not going to see working. You're going to say you, it's going to say no tools. So they're not going to be doing anything about it. Dry meat, all you need is the meat. So if you have meat uh, in the food storage, then they will be working on it or in the uh, hunting lodge storage. So if you have meat, like this one over here, so you can do dry meat, right? So you don't need to have any knife. You don't need anything. So that's fine letter you need a knife so over here if you don't have a knife they will not procure letter so it's important same thing with here and letter you don't need anything letter uh let me see obtain bird tarp cutting down trees so you don't need apparently you don't need anything birds they're gonna uh what i'm gonna call it they're gonna gather it around the area so there's gonna be feathers everywhere right so you don't need any knife now i'm gonna say what does that mean to durability what does to durability mean it means that every time they gather one meat so if you over here you see 18.91 uh 18.91 so basically every time they gather one meat it's gonna cost two durability of a knife so if you go back over here See, my knife has a durability durability of 40. So what it means, so look, look now it's 15, right? Because I've been using, the, they've been using their knife, you know, for, you know, for what they're doing, right? So what it means is that uh, 18 times 2, you have to calculate it this way. So 18 is 0.91 times 2. So let's calculate how, did it, how much it is. So 37.82. So what it means is that per day, just for gathering, the, for just for hunting the meat, uh, it's going to cost them 37.82 durability of one knife. So if you go over here, so 37.82, it's almost uh, an entire knife. It's almost the entire knife itself. So it means that in the second day, there will be no more durability anymore meaning that the knife they're gonna have to pick another knife which is why you saw 11 knife in my resource storage that's why you need a lot of knife so it, you have to calculate that so basically here you have 3782 then you have to calculate do you want meat uh, do you want dry meat yes uh, dry meat does not cost you any knife so that's fine letter it, it costs this costs one durability per letter so over here you're gonna say how much letter do i get per day 0 0.53 so basically it's go it's not going to cost one durability it's going to cost 0 0.53 durability uh per day uh, of a knife so what it means in order to cost one durability you have to wait like two days so basically the second day when they get a letter it's going to cost one durability are you are you understand what i'm saying so basically if you call if you calculate uh this one over here was 37.82 so that means every day it's going to cost you 38.35 durability uh, of one knife per day, which is almost the entire uh, 40 durability. You understand? So basically after one day and a few hours, they're going to switch knife. You understand? Now you're going to say, uh, how can I um you know save on the durability of the knife well you have two options you can get better knife because right now this is a uh, the one the knife that i have i think is a stone knife or something like that so if you want a better knife you can go you need to build uh which i'm gonna call it a, a smitty so here's a smitty over here but this is something you do late game but i just want to show you so basically over here you have stone knife which uh you can make you know or you can make uh which i'm gonna call it you can make copper knife so common copper knife has a uh, longer durability so basically a, cu uh, a copper knife it has 150 durability it doesn't say over here but i know it's 150 so if you go uh to a bronze knife it has a bronze knife has 450 durability and a iron knife has 500 durability but this is something you build in the future because this is kind of like you need to have uh you know someone who mines uh, the copper the bronze and the iron which is not easy by the way well it's easy but you know it's late game so basically once you get these knives they're gonna have higher durability so you don't have to worry too much about you know uh durability of your of your knives but otherwise i have 11 knife 11 uh, stone knife which is very easy to make so you go over here so all you need is like uh, whatchamacallit you need 
five stick and two stone so you can make a lot of these knives and put in the uh, resource storage and you should be fine so basically i just want to show you how to calculate uh, the, the durability of the knife uh, according to the intensity that you put in here with the progress and everything so that's what you need to understand and that's how the hunting lodge works so uh, me i was under the impression you need to needed to give them a bow you don't have to give them a bow all they need is a knife depending what they're doing so here they you know they need a knife for the fur they need a knife for the leather and they need a knife for uh hunting you know like animals and get and skinning the the animals for get to get meat you understand so it's important to understand that and this one you need no knife so yeah guys so this is how the hunting lodge work you can have up to two people so if you find this useful please like and sub thanks for watching see you in my next videos.